Hello everyone. Welcome to Digital Communication Tutorials. In this video, I am going to take up the second numerical on digital modulation techniques. Please note this is a numerical on binary phase shift keying. Let me read out the question first. A binary data is transmitted over an AWGN channel using binary PSK at a rate of 1 Mbps. It is desired to have average probability of error PE less than or equal to 10 to the power minus 4. The noise power spectral density is 10 to the power minus 12 watts per hertz. Find the average carrier power required at the receiver input if the detector is of coherent type. Right, let us start with the solution part. I will first write down the given values. We are given the data rate RB is 1 Mbps. Also, the probability of error PE is given as less than or equal to 10 to the power minus 4. And the noise power spectral density which is N0 by 2 is given as 10 to the power minus 12 watts per hertz. We are asked to find the average carrier power P required at the receiver input if the detector is of coherent type. Let me now start with the equation for the average probability of symbol error for coherent binary PSK system. It is given by P E equal to 1 divided by 2 into E R F C of square root of E B divided by N naught. Let me call this as equation 1. We are asked to find the average carrier power and I will denote it by P as already shown in the solution part here. So, I will write let capital P represent the average carrier power. Therefore, the bit energy E B is given by E B equals P into T B. We know that T B is equal to 1 divided by R B which stands for the bit duration. We are given the value of R B as 10 to the power 6. Therefore, T B is equal to 1 microsecond. Now, let me compute the bit energy to the noise power spectral density ratio which is E B divided by N naught. I am going back to equation for E B, I will call it as equation 2. So, E B can be written as P into T B divided by N naught. I will write P multiplied by T B is 10 to the power minus 6 divided by N naught as we are given N naught by 2 is 10 to the power of minus 12, N naught is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of minus 12. Upon simplifying this becomes 0 0.5 multiplied by P multiplied by 10 to the power 6. Let me call this as equation 3. Now, I will substitute the RHS of equation 3 back into the equation 1 which is for average probability of symbol error. Therefore, P E is equal to 1 divided by 2 into E R F C of square root of 0 0.5 multiplied by P multiplied by 10 to the power 6. Please note we are given the value of probability error to be less than or equal to 10 to the power of minus 4. So, this is less than or equal to 10 to the power minus 4. Let me now rearrange this equation. So, ERFC of square root of 0 0.5 into P into 10 to the power of 6 is less than or equal to 2 into 10 to the power of minus 4. We know that the complementary error function ERFC of some value u is equal to 1 minus 
error function ERF of u. Upon rearranging this equation, I can write ERF of u is equal to 1 minus ERFC of u. ERFC of u is given as 2 into 10 to the power of minus 4. So, I will substitute it here. This is 0 0.0002. So, this simplifies to 0 0.9998. Now, we have to go to the error function table and find the value of u for which ERF of u is 0 0.9998. Let me now go to the table. Right. This is the error function table and upon searching the error function table, I will find for u equal to 2.5, ERF of u is 0 0.99959. Please note, we do not have the exact value of 0 0.9998 here. So, I will take the most suitable value which is for u equal to 2.5. So, the value of u here is 2.5 and I will come back to my equation and I will write u is equal to 2.5. Therefore, now I will write the value of u is equal to from this equation square root of 0 0.5 multiplied by p multiplied by 10 to the power 6. So, rearranging this I will get 0 0.5 multiplied by p multiplied by 10 to the power 6 is equal to u square. This is equal to 2.5 square, which is 6.25. So, I can now write P as 6.25 divided by 0 0.5 into 10 to the power 6. This is equal to 12.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 watts. Now, coming back to the given values, we note that the average probability of error is less than or equal to 10 to the power minus 4. Therefore, to ensure an average probability of error, the average carrier power must be at least 12.5 microwatt. Anything greater than this will also be suitable. Therefore, I will rewrite this equation as P greater than or equal to 12.5 microwatts. That is the answer for the average carrier power to ensure a average probability of symbol error PE less than or equal to 10 power minus 4. That would be the conclusion. Right, that is the end of this video. If you like this video, kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more information on digital communication. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.